皆さんこんにちはガナーマサコです本日ご覧いただく動画は先日オランダで行われたサイエンスサミットアンセンサード検閲なしのサイエンスサミットからの講義になります医学博士のマーティン・ハディッシュ博士が PCR 検査についてお話しされました現在我が国日本で行われている連日による大量の PCR 検査そしてその検査による感染者数テレビが発表するあの数字そして恐怖心は煽っているこの意味は一体何なのでしょうかそれを正しく理解するためにはまずは PCR 検査が何であるかを理解しなければなりませんハディッシュ博士は地球上にあるメレスデスベンツを宇宙から探す望遠鏡などを使って探すという例をもとに PCR 検査の特徴そして一体それが何をしているのかそして人間である我々はそれをどう扱わなければいけないのかそれについて分かりやすくユーモアを交えてお話しされましたぜひご覧くださいUh, this、um, innovation was an ultra sensitive tool to detect DNA or RNA, respectively. And he was awarded with a Nobel Prize for that in the year 1993. And you see, he was a very self critical person. I don't know whether you can read that from here, it's difficult to read. But you see, science has not that much.、Um, Evolved since the past centuries. So it's merely the same. And I think this was a very interesting statement. What if I had not taken LSD ever? Would I still have invented PCR? I don't know. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. So it means that for some, for some、um, uh, critical steps, You also have to cross some borders and you maybe have、uh, new ideas, but this is the most frequently cited, most famous citing for him. Anyone can test positive for practically anything with a PCR test. If you run it long enough with PCR, if you do it well, you can find almost anything in anybody. It doesn't tell you that you are sick. And I think this is a very important statement by Kerry Mullis. So, what is PCR used for? I double it up, and it's the only thing that the first step you have to multiply it and you have to change a single stranded into a double stranded, and then you have the same thing.、Um, so、but we should not forget what Kerry Mullis said. We don't detect viable infectious agents, but just RNA or DNA, and maybe only just very. Little parts of it, and this with a very small amount. So, the adequate question is not can I detect a certain part of an agent, but the, the correct question in medicine is will the test result help to safeguard the diagnose of a disease? Because this is what we need in、um, applied medicine. So, it depends. I, I just wanted to show you that there's a shift. In positives and negatives, correct or incorrect, depending on the prevalence. Yeah? So, what does it mean? We have what we want to know is at the bottom line the positive predictive value. Can I trust a positive result? Yes or no? And can I trust a negative result? The negative predictive value. And you see, if you have a prevalence of 1% in 10,000, you have 99 which are correctly positive and 99 which are. Incorrectly, which are false、uh, positive. You see here on the, on the left side. So the positive predictive value is just 50%. You could flip a coin if you have a positive result. In the negatives, that's merely 100%. What do we learn about this? If you have a low prevalence, you can trust negative results, but not the positive ones. Yeah? Let's say we have a sensitivity of 100%. You know, pregnancy test, HIV rapid test, they have 100% sensitivity. So you don't miss a positive one. Yeah? But if it's positive, maybe it's incorrectly positive. Yeah? 
And there are additional citations on that. So the question, now coming back to our example, is how do we identify a Mercedes? And of course, we use the star. Yeah? Can you see the Mercedes star? Not yet, huh? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe slowly, slowly. Yeah? Here it comes. But the PCR, yeah? This is, of course, by far more sensitive. And then you can see it, but what are we searching? A car. And this is no car. Yeah? So you might be misguided by the positive result. But you see, if we're doing PCRs, we are running cycles. Yeah? And with, with each of the cycles, it might become a clearer picture. You see on the bottom, merely nothing. We run one cycle, and maybe you see a little bit more, another cycle, another cycle, another cycle. And now, meanwhile, you estimate that maybe on the right side, this might be a Mercedes star. And in the middle, you don't know, and on the left side, you don't see anything. It gets stronger, the signal, doesn't it? So you would already say on the right side, uh, quite likely a Mercedes star, middle, don't know. So you go on. And now, meanwhile, you say, okay, this is a Mercedes star in the middle also. In the left, maybe not. Also, it looks like it. It looks like a Mercedes star, but it isn't. <laughs> but if you only take a little piece out of it, as we do with the PCR test, we're only taking little pieces on whether I should do it or not, and I said, yes, I do it. Would I, may I ask you, all of you, to stand up? That's not possible. That's great. That's not possible. <laughs> you raise your hand, please. You raise your hand. That's great. And as soon as you see the Mercedes star, you sit please down. So those who see the Mercedes star, watch it closely. It shifts around. As soon as you see the Mercedes star, please sit down. You have already seen it? Great. Somebody else? Ah, yeah. It's easier to watch this screen. Yeah, you have, you have an advantage. Next one. Uh-huh. Yeah, in front it's easier. Or maybe here. Somebody of you sees the Mercedes star? Yeah, there are some more. Okay. It gets clearer. Okay. You already saw it, I see. No, no, no. You didn't see it till now, the Mercedes star? No, no. Maybe now? Yeah, yeah, okay. 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 Everybody sees it. Everybody. Great. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> this is no Mercedes star. It's a hot pant. You, may, you might be misguided. <laughs> you detect something which is wholly wrong. Because what? No. You intended to see... Uh, you intended to see the Mercedes star. It's what you wanted to see. And you checked for it. And you have a certain kind of memory, how it looks like, but this is no Mercedes star. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite easy to find out that you're playing, that you're tricked. This is false positive, we agree? Yeah? Yeah? That's a BMW, yeah? with a Mercedes sign on it. Yeah? That's easy. Just by the way, you know it, maybe. The PCR tests never ever were licensed to diagnose something in healthy people. 